and boom the trucks are in the yard welcome back to the channel everybody today we're gonna get our big auger set up to one of the grain bins we are gonna start hauling some corn bringing it to town One thing really nice about this 560 is this right here, the draw bar, it's actually hydraulic, so I can raise it up, that'll raise the auger, lower it down, that lowers it. So it's really nice when you're hooking up to trailers and whatnot, you can just, instead of having to adjust the jack, you can switch the draw bar, raise and lower it. Now, since we're unloading out of this bin, what we need to do is take this hopper that's on this side and then swing it over to the other side, that way we can unload the bin. Now we got to see if we guessed right it on the angle and the reach from the hopper down to the bin. It's kind of tricky. There's not a ton of room between the two bins, so. We didn't get the right angle on the first try, so now we're gonna try Jimmy in the tractor, Jimmy in the unload, and see if we can make it work. Got it lined up now the spot where the unload is going to meet to the grate and to the flighting of the auger. So should be set there. Now just got to hook up the PTO to, to run the auger. Now because our 560 on the auger there doesn't quite have enough hydraulic power, we got our 6150R here. I'm going to bring it over to the auger and raise that auger up there so it's above a semi. Plug the hydraulic in. This will raise the auger. And boom, the trucks are in the yard. This truck's half full, he's got his two mounds up front. Now just needs one more hump in the back to make that a thousand bushels on that truck. The other truck's there waiting. The unfortunate thing about this bend here that we're unloading out of now, in addition to this bend, including all these other bends in our back row, is they're not tied into our leg system. So these bends aren't filled from the leg. As you can tell, there's no spout to the top of them. In addition, they're not unloaded through the legs. So that means we have to set up this auger to fill trucks instead of just tying everything into the legs, so it takes us a lot longer to unload these grain vents here in the back row. Another big thing about grain bends is efficiency. So this bend, the unload here, as you can see running, coming out of the bend is an eight inch unload, filling a 10 inch auger, which means we can fill a truck in about 20 to 25 minutes. But when we switch over to the leg, we have 10 inch unload into a, a 10 inch going into the leg. So there we can fill about as quick as 10 minutes. So it takes us twice as long to unload these bins using the auger than if they were tied into the leg system. Today's gonna be an absolutely beautiful day. It's gonna be 80 degrees, nice and hot. So first truck is just pulling in. We're gonna take more corn out of this 32 footer. Hopefully get that down to the sweep auger today. First things first, gotta get the tractor started up. I always double check that it's in neutral even though it's sat here for a couple days. Pull the choke, push in the starter. Let's see if I can do this one handed to set you guys down. Here we go, give it a try. Push in the There we go. Got the tractor started. There it is. This is Dory backing into the spot, trying to get lined up right in the middle of that auger. I'm gonna go ahead and start the auger now. To do that, I gotta pull this to engage the PTO. That's gonna spin the auger, give it some gas. Now we gotta get the corn coming. Come over here to the, the 
breaker box, got everything run through the main, put the main on there. I'll come look back over here, the auger should be running. And boom, looks like the belt's spinning, some corn's running out, so here we are loading another truck. Now since the front hopper's full, gotta pull the truck ahead, fill up the back, so here we go. Get that truck pulled ahead here, I'll give her directions of where we gotta be. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. We usually just put one big mound in the back, shoot for 80,000 gross weight, and right there, hope, oh, hope, oh, boom, perfect. Now I'll wait for the back hopper to fill. Here comes Leo back for another load. It's a little bit trickier now to unload with this auger because we built this retaining wall next to our grain receiving pit, so they gotta drive past and then back in. Uh, future years, I think we're just gonna unload this bin and this other bin behind me into the pit and load it off the leg. But for this year, with the time crunch we're at, this is just what we opted to do. I personally love this Batco conveyor for two reasons. Number one, it's a lot better on grain quality. Being a conveyor, instead of having a screw auger inside there, it's more of a belt style. So it's a lot easier on the grain quality, meaning we don't get docked as much, or if any, at the elevator. Reason number two is speed. It has an eight inch tube that the conveyor runs in, but it actually runs like a 10 inch auger. So it can fill the truck in about 15 minutes. And I actually have the sump on the bend wide open. So that is the reasons I absolutely love this auger. Have Leo here pull ahead on this auger, and then we'll get the back of this truck filled up and he'll have a load to go back down to the ethanol plant. There goes another load. This is the way I like to watch trucks load. One running on this big auger, one running on that conveyor. Heck, this would even be a good test to see how fast that conveyor is. Both trucks pulled in at the same time. Let's see which ones gets loaded fastest. Got the same size sump coming out of the bin. Both of them aren't on the sweep auger yet. We'll see which one gets loaded faster. It is neck and neck. This truck just pulled ahead. This one's got a decent sized mound on it. Driver's in there, about ready to pull it ahead. And there they go. The winner was the person on this 50 foot uh, screw auger and it wasn't quite as fast as this belt conveyor. So, it's all about the things you know. Now I know if I'm in a bind, that one does run just a touch faster, probably two, three minutes than this other one. Now while I'm waiting for this truck to load, I'm gonna start scooping out this dirt under this unload, because as you can tell, to make that work, we gotta dig out a fair amount of dirt, that way the auger will slide underneath. So I'm gonna get a head start on that, start scooping out some of that dirt here, so when that bend back there is full, we can swing the auger over to this one. This bend is getting to where the grain is just barely above the door. So it's important that I start taking off the side sumps. That way I can get the door open to get the sweep auger in. As you can tell, we still got quite a ways to go before we get the sweep auger in. Just got the first door open. Three more to go. But it's a start and emptying out this bin. Got the sweep auger moved in this bin. It's only a 27 foot diameter bend, so obviously there's only two semi-loads or 2,000 bushels left in here. It's three o'clock now, so we'll see if we can get this bend emptied yet today.
that we got a sweep so I'm heading into the bin with the shovel. I'm gonna start clearing out the way to bring the sweep auger in. This bin's one of the worst ones to scoop because the door is far away from the sump where we gotta bring that sweep auger. So we gotta clear enough way to get the sweep auger in from the door all the way down to the sweep. So that's what we're doing now. We got the pack cleared here to bring the sweep auger in, so I'm gonna hop outside the bin. We're gonna bring the sweep auger in, get this bin emptied yet today. Here's the motor that drives the sweep auger. That's it. This bin's empty. Loaded up the last truck. Gonna head out here. Got a little bit of picking up to do. I'm not so sure why my grandpa built these small bins. If it was because these were the biggest bins they made at the time, or just so I could sweat and move sweep augers and climb bins ten times over. But either way, we got all of our small bins on the farm now empty. That's it for all the corn that we store here on the main farm place got all that brought to town so that's gonna be it for today's video thanks so much everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one